Hey guys, I know by Zelp here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at iOS 14 Developer Beta 2. This is my follow-up two days later where I share with you guys additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the software for a couple days. Now this one here, this iPhone 11 is running Beta 1. This one is running Beta 2 just for reference so that I can compare and show you some of the latest changes. Now if you haven't watched my initial coverage on iOS 14 Beta 2, links will be in the description down below for that video. In this one, let's take a look at some additional new features and changes. Now, of course, you can expect my weekly follow-up video where I take a deeper dive into the software and I talk about the battery, the performance, any bugs, and as well as the YouTube community poll where you guys also have an input on iOS 14 Beta 2 that's coming a week from today. So let's take a look at some of the latest changes. Now, I did talk about in my initial coverage that the calendar application was slightly tweaked. Here is the clocks application. That one is also a bit tweaked as well. You can see the clock hands are slightly bolder, kind of go in line with the watch phases on the Apple Watch. So slightly tweaked watch or clocks application in beta 2. Now there's also a new charging indicator or the lightning indicator when you go to charge your iPhone. So if I plug this iPhone in, the charging indicator is slightly bolder as well as your iPhone is charging. Just a minor UI change, but it's definitely a change in beta 2 as well. Now when you go to delete an application, so for example if I go to delete the news application here and we click on remove application, the prompt here now says remove from home screen. Before if you go to delete an application in beta 1, click remove, you get add to library. That's no longer there. Now it's been renamed and changed a little bit. Heading on over to the camera here, I wanted to show you a new camera icon here. So if we go to the camera, go to control center, we see that the camera icon is slightly tweaked as well. Let's take a look here at beta one. If we go to the control center, there is slightly tweaked camera icon in beta two. This one looks like the FaceTime camera icon. This one looks like the camera icon on the application. So slightly tweaked camera icon there for the control center in beta two as well. Now stacked widgets UI is also slightly different here. So let's take a look at a stacked widget here. If we go to the UI here, we go to edit stack. We see that the actual menu here has been rearranged in beta two. The smart rotation or rotate is at the top, the button there, and it's at the bottom in beta one. And we also have an X right here to exit out. Instead of having to swipe it away, we can exit out of that if we wish to do that as well. So slightly tweaked a UI there for the stacked widgets. Now there's a new widget or actually uh, a new platter for a widget. So if we go to the widgets here and we add a new widget, let's go ahead and click edit right here, add a new widget. If we go to the photos widget, there's a very large photo widget that you can now add that one right there is just extremely large. You can place it on the home screen of your iPhone. And it's just one of the new ones alongside the files widget, which is also available that I talked about on my initial coverage. The notes widget has also been redesigned here to go more in line with the actual application. Look at beta one and look at beta two. So slightly tweaked uh, notes widget there as well for beta two. Now, Apple also addressed a few bugs here in beta two as well. So if we go to the wallpapers categories here and we go to set up a wallpaper, take a look there. This is just a large icon there. That's pretty much a bug here in beta two that goes more in line with what actually you see on the home screen. So Apple is also fixing bugs with the latest beta as well. Now, one thing I also wanna share with you guys is a new setup process or screen when you go to set up your iPhone. So I'm gonna update this one here that's running beta one to beta two to show you the actual process of the new setup screen for iOS 14. And this is gonna be from here on out. I thought this was really cool. So here is the brand new setup process, the new UI for the setup process. It's animated, it looks entirely different. As you can see here, everything just seems a lot nicer in my opinion. So I'm gonna set this one up manually here and I'm gonna show you the entire process. Let's go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. All right, so here it is. Click continue. Look at the new FaceTime uh, UI here. Also, I'm not gonna set up FaceTime right now. I'll set it up later. Let's see right there, the lock is also animated. This is what you will see from here on out when you go to set up your iPhones with iOS 14 in the future. I'm not gonna transfer anything. I just wanna show you all the animations in the new process here. And everything just seems a lot cleaner. By the way, Apple no longer gives you the option to manually install the software. You click continue and then in settings later, you have the ability to opt out for automatic updates. And this uh, new setup process, we also have the new iMessage and FaceTime uh, icons here. That is the new process. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know what you think about the new process. Are you loving iOS 14? And is there something you still want Apple to address and change 
with the next versions of iOS 14, beta 3, beta 4, and so on. Thank you for watching this follow-up, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.